Hello from Kampala in Uganda. It is Good Friday today. It is a a weekend to remember and celebrate the the death and the resurrection of Jesus. Now, I was at a prayer meeting a, a few days ago and we sang the song Mighty to Save by Hillsong Worship. The chorus of that song goes like this. It says, Savior, he can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save. Forever author of salvation, he rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. As we were singing, I started to think about that line that Jesus conquered the grave. This man, God on earth, defeated death. He defeated the grave. His power is absolutely and utterly beyond our comprehension. He is mighty. There is absolutely no mountain that he can't move. There is absolutely nothing we face that is more powerful than him. But if all of that is true, why is it that sometimes the miracles that we are desperately seeking, that we are longing for day in and day out, just don't seem to happen? Why is it that the healing doesn't come? Why is it that we face the loss of people who were far too young? Why is it that we still face daily struggles and temptations and difficulties? Why hasn't God moved those mountains? Why hasn't he heard our prayers? Are we praying wrong? Have we done something wrong? Do we not have enough faith? Those are questions that I'm sure we've all asked ourselves in one way or another at some point in our lives. So the fact of the matter is that Jesus does have the power to meet our every single need, to answer our every prayer, but sometimes he doesn't. And sometimes it can be really, really hard to understand why not. In those times, I think it is okay to feel a little bit angry and frustrated and confused. Those feelings are valid and it is okay to bring them to God. But what we need to recognize is that even though we don't understand why things happen the way they do sometimes, it doesn't change the nature of who God is. He is still good. He is still mighty to save. And just because we don't understand everything right now, it doesn't mean that he isn't working or that he has stopped caring. I was chatting to a a wonderful friend of mine this week who recently had to go into hospital here in Uganda for some major surgery. She was understandably pretty nervous about it. And she told me that even up to the minute before they took her to the operating theater, she was praying so heartfeltly that God would miraculously heal her, that that he would remove the problem, that the doctors would be astounded because suddenly they wouldn't need to do that surgery any after all. But that didn't happen. She had the surgery. Now she has the, the weeks of time of recovering her strength and her energy. But the thing that really amazed me, that blew me away, was that she looked at me and said, there was a miracle there, Becky. And it was the doctor, this excellent surgeon who just happened to be available, who went over and above what was necessary to do an amazing job and to really, really look after her. It was a miracle how quickly she could stand and walk after this major surgery and how so many people surrounded her with love and comfort and everything that she needed at that time. We spoke for a while and and kind of came to the conclusion that an instant miracle would have been amazing, (laughs) but that life would very quickly have gone back to normal after it. You know, she would have been back in work the next day with an amazing story to tell. But quickly enough, that wonder would have faded. 
Instead, she explained that she had this amazing sense that God had carried her through that whole time. And suddenly she knew that there was nothing that she could ever face that God couldn't carry her through. Isn't that just amazing? You know, on the surface, it looked like God didn't answer that prayer. He didn't work in the way that we wanted, and yet he was working. He was doing exactly what needed to be done. It wasn't a lack of faith. It wasn't that we were praying wrong somehow. God had a plan, just as he always does. It is okay to recognize that we don't always understand why God works in the way that he does. His thoughts are not our thoughts. His ways are not our ways. Sometimes that can leave us feeling confused, feeling that he is not answering our prayers. We can be here suffering in pain and with grief and just with confusion. But just because we don't always understand the way that he operates does not mean that he is not operating. Put your trust in him again. Even if you're not seeing that miraculous answer to your prayer right now, there may still be plenty, there will still be plenty of those everyday miracles that he is doing right now to bring you through this situation that you find yourself in. Because God is still God. God is still mighty. God is still capable of moving any mountain. He is everything that we need. God is still with you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm actually taking a little bit of holiday next week, so there won't be any videos next week. But I hope you have a really, really wonderful Easter weekend. Whatever is going on in your life, whatever lockdowns you may still be under, he is risen. He is mighty. He is good. He is with us. Thank you again for being here, and I will see you next time.